So let's write down our values for the first time. We are given that radius has value r and velocity has value v. So we use the equation acceleration equals velocity squared over r. Putting in our numbers, we get that acceleration equals v squared over r. Next, we will use the equation of net force equals mass times acceleration sine centripetal force equals mv squared over r for the first time. For the second time, we are given that r or radius is still equal to r the velocity is equal to v over 2, since it is half of the original speed. So acceleration equals velocity squared over r, and plugging in our new values, we get acceleration is equal to v over 2 squared divided by r. So it's equal to v squared over 4r. Sum of forces equals mass times acceleration. So centripetal force equals putting in our value for acceleration along with mass, mass times v squared over 4r. So it's equal to centripetal, the original centripetal force over 4, so it is one force as big, d.